Hey there everyone, I'm Nathan from Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with me, I own and operate my own business here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, where I perform services on smartphones for clients from all over the world. So, with me running a business, yes, that doesn't mean that I charge for all my services. If you're here looking for a free way to be able to do the things shown in my videos, then you won't find that, unfortunately. But I can promise that if you do decide to work with me, you absolutely will not regret it. Too often these days, it seems that the only types of places to turn to for these types of services are nameless, faceless eBay sellers, or suspicious-looking websites, or random guys on Craigslist, or a little cell phone shop down the street where you're not quite sure if they have any idea what they're talking about, and if you're going to get your phone back in one piece. So I'm here to change all that by giving clients a friendly, professional, reputable place to turn to to have these types of services performed. No one else has the experience, knowledge, and dedication to this business that I do, and the hundreds of perfect feedback and reviews that I have published on my sites from prior clients prove that there is no one else out there that can match the services that I provide. Now, let me get on to why I'm here today. Here with me today, I have an HTC 10 so yes, with the 10, they did, they did decide to forego the 1 moniker and just go with 10. So this is HTC's newest, latest, greatest, best, top-of-the-line flagship phone for 2016. This one just happens to be a Verizon version, as we can see from the logo on the back there. This one, unfortunately, has fallen victim to the dreaded Google account lock. So this is a security feature implemented by Google, starting with Android 5.1, where when the phone is reset without first removing the Google account that's attached to it, it is then locked to that account when it boots back up after the reset. So it's designed to keep thieves and other unshady people from accessing phones and be able to use them without the owner's consent, but obviously along with that comes a lot of problems. So I've been contacted by hundreds if not thousands of clients who had the Google account lock enabled on their phone after they were either sold it to them by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them about the phone's true status, or even someone who it was their own phone but they got locked out of it because they didn't remember their password or because their kids were playing around with it and got them locked out, and by some way the Google account lock got enabled. But my business offers services to remove that lock in many situations and that's exactly what I'm going to do here with this HTC 10 right now. So I have it booted up to an alternate mode here where I'm going to perform my magic really quickly and after it boots back up we'll be able to see that it does indeed now work without the Google account lock on there. And I forgot this one actually uses a new cable and charging port so let me get my other cable plugged in here really quick. All right, there we go. Now we should just be able to do that. And we're going to go ahead and reboot the phone now. And then we'll take a peek at what shows after we have it all rebooted. coming up on the HTC screen there, and then we've got the Verizon screen which will follow after that. So another few seconds and we'll have it all ready here. All right, so it's loaded up at the Verizon Setup Wizard. There we're at the welcome screen, so we're going to go ahead and hit next. We are going to tap there, use Wi-Fi, next, next, next. We're just going to skip through everything here. We're going to skip past the Wi-Fi. And now we actually see something that we wouldn't have seen before during the setup is that it's asking us to set up a screen lock. We never got to that step before, so that's a good indication that the Google account lock is off now. We're just going to skip that for now to make everything faster. Skip through more Google things. And then here we see the setup wizard asking us to add more accounts. We're just going to go ahead and skip that, skip everything. And there we are. So, we now have the full home screen loaded up, the phone is fully able to be used again, that lock has been completely removed, and any Google account is now free to be added to the phone. So, 
If you have an HTC 10 that has the Google account lock enabled and would like help in getting it removed, go ahead and contact me. I'll be happy to help you out with that. All the information for contacting me will be right in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all my contact info on it also. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel as I offer a lot of different services for a lot of different phones, and I'm sure you'll find something there that interests you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos that I'm constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, yo también hablo español, así que ustedes no duden contactarse conmigo. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.